Hello, my name is Nico Schüler and I would like to discuss Rastafarianism in reggae and reggaeton. Rastafarianism is an Afrocentric cultural consciousness movement and religion with political views that emerged in Jamaica in the 1920s and 1930s, influenced by Judaism, Christianity, Ethiopianism, and Hinduism. It was popularized through reggae music, especially that of Bob Marley in the 1970s. With the coronation of Raz Prince Tafari Makonen Waldemikael as Emperor of Ethiopia on November 2nd, 1930, some Rastas saw in the Emperor, whose name was Haile Selassie, uh, Haile Selassie I, the return of the Messiah and incarnation of God, Jah. Other Rastas viewed Haile Selassie I, whose official names were Conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah and King of Kings and Elect of God, as a descendant of David and Solomon, who died as a martyr for the faith, envisioned and inspired by the pan-African and anti-colonial views of Jamaican publisher, journalist, and political leader Marcus Mosiah Garvey, Jr. Um, Rastafarianism highly values the African heritage of black people, believes in the repatriation to Ethiopia, which is Zion, uh, which is the true home of black people and envision the eventual fall of Babylon, which is the corrupt and oppressive world of white people, Europe and its colonial governments. Rastas believe that the Bible was deliberately mistranslated to allow the enslavement of black people and that the original Bible was a history of black people, including Jesus. Biblical studies are important in Rastafarianism and most Rastafarian symbols are either of biblical nature or related to Ethiopia. For example, the Exodus story of Moses leading the Hebrews out of Egypt became a Rastafarian liberation symbol. The dreadlocks and uh, beards relate to the law of the Nazarites that forbade cutting hair. The city Babylon symbolizes the evil human powers. The lion is a symbol of the Jewish tribe of Judah and is also on Ethiopia's flag between 1897 and 1975. The colors green, yellow, and red are symbolic colors of Ethiopia's flag. Rastafarian lifestyle all, all, um, often includes the use of marijuana, um, which is considered the holy herb for attaining enlightenment and union with Jah, the avoidance of alcohol, and a vegan and saltless diet, ital. Unlike Babylonian Christian traditions that each obedience that teach obedience to gain rewards in heaven, Rastas do not believe in heaven, but in earthly salvation, redemption, and in returning to their promised land, Ethiopia, which bears hope for a new social order for black people. Without an organized leadership, the male-centered Rastafarianism varies with regard to spirituality moral laws and political views. It has various subgroups, mentions, including the Boba Ashanti, the Niabingi, the 12 tribes of Israel, and several smaller groups. Rastafarian history and beliefs are frequently referred to in Rasta songs, such as coming from the root of King David uh, through the line of Solomon, his imperial majesty, is the power of authority in Bob Marley's Redemption Song from 1980 or I'm gonna be iron like lion in Zion in Marley's song Iron Lion Zion. Here is the beginning of Marley's Redemption Song. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. 
To reflect their beliefs and ways of life, Rastafarians changed some of the Jamaican English language, Jamaican Creole, creating a dialect or language referred to as Iaric, Livelect, Dread Talk, I Talk, or Rasta Talk. Changing the colonial language, uh, the colonial English language, was an emancipatory tool and allowed them to confront the oppressive, decadent Babylon. Many changes in language, as reflected in music lyrics, relate to avoiding negative words. For example, the word hello is avoided because it contains hell. Other changes are a result of literal semantic interpretations such as overstand instead of understand, since one is rather above, not under, the matter when one truly understands something or downpression instead of oppression, since down better reflects the direction of the oppression. Last but not least, the word I took on greater meaning in Iaric. I is used instead of me to emphasize the subjectivity of a person and de-emphasize the person as an object. I and I is used frequently and refers to the oneness of a person with Ja whereas I-man refers to the inner person. Iri is derived from all right and denotes positivity and peacefulness, while Aya means higher, in, as in higher awareness, and may also refer to a friend. For example, Bob Marley's song Roots from 1977 contains the phrase I and I are the roots and I got to survive in a disman maniac down pression. In addition, Rastafarians substitute me with I to mirror the conceptualized self. A type of music that is identified with Rastafarianism is Nyobingi, also uh, yeah, Nyobingi music, which is characterized by unamplified continuous drumming and chanting performed at Rastafarian meetings, or Grau Nations, in 4-4 four, four meter, usually three drums are used, representing the African heritage of Rastafarianism. The thunder, bass drum, emphasizing beats 1 and 3. The funde, a mid-sized drum, playing a steady heartbeat rhythm. And the repeater, or kete, a small high-pitched drum, usually syncopated and emphasizing beats two and four. Nyabingi chanting usually consists of the recitation of biblical psalms, Christian hymns or texts emphasizing black redemption and repatriation. Sometimes Nyabingi music includes the use of shaker, um, guitar and or wind instruments. A communal meditative practice rooted in African drumming, Nyabingi music and its divine energy create unity and support the teachings and rituals of Rastafarian Grand Nations. Representatives of Nyabingi music uh, are, for example, Bongo Herman, born 1940, Kant Ossie, Cedric Brooks, Russ uh, Michael, uh, George Henry, and the Rastafarian elders, 
Nyabingi music influenced the emergence of ska in the late 1950s, of rocksteady in the mid-1960s, and of reggae in the late 1960s. Uh, here is uh, the beginning of the Rastafarian Elders song, Ja is I Shepherd. During the late 1960s, Rastafarianism became associated with reggae music. The song Israelites from 1968 by Desmond Decker was the first international British number one hit. Get up in the morning sleeping for bread, so that every mouth can be fed. Uh, so a part of the sentence was missing. It was the first British number one hit that focuses on Rastafarianism specifically. Israelites, the song Israelites, approached the issue of poverty among Rastafarians, Israelites, pointing to the socio-political roots of both Rastafarianism and reggae, the poverty in Jamaica. The song quintessentially shows reggae as a result of the Rastafarian search for a cultural identity, considering the slave history, the history of oppression, and the African as well as Western influence, politically, culturally, and musically. The most prominent representative of reggae was Bob Marley, who joined the Rastafarian movement after Haile Selassie I visit. Uh, in Jamaica in uh, April 1966. Marley and his Rasta Reggae, Roots Reggae, as well as other musicians and bands, for example, Peter Tosh, Burning uh, Spear, uh, Steel Pulse, and Black Uhuru, popularized Rastafarianism to the extent that it spreads throughout the world and gained international recognition. Marley's lyrics are infused with Rastafarian references, for example, references to Ja, Babylon, the Pan-African View, the, uh, and Holy Mount Zion. As does Rastafarianism, Marley's music speaks out against injustice and oppression, and it promotes equal rights, inclusion, freedom, peace, and love. For example, Get Up, Stand Up from 1973, a collaboration between Marley and Peter Tosh, uh, is a call for action against racism. Partially based on the words by Marcus Garvey, Redemption Song from 1980 calls for emancipation from mental slavery. Partially based on an, the interpretation of People Get Ready, uh, 1965 by Curtis Mayfield, Marley's One Love from 1977 is a cry for peace and love in the context of Rastafarian religion. Especially through reggae, the spread of Rastafarianism is continuing to this day, particularly in impoverished regions with a highly illiterate, uh, highly, with a high illiteracy rate. An example of the concomitant development of local reggae expressions is that along the Limon coast of Costa Rica, Jamaican laborer came to Costa Rica in the late 19th century when reggae developed in the 1960s and 1970s. Their descendants picked it up as a, a celebration of their heritage. Reggae eventually crossed race and origin um, across Costa Rica and fused with elements of rap 
to reggaeton, uh, which in turn spread to other parts of Latin America, to North America, Europe, Asia and Africa, and which at least in part continues to spread, continues the spread of Rastafarianism. Contemporary Rastafarian reggae and reggaeton artists include Janine Ja9 Cunningham, and uh, here is an excerpt of her song, Highly uh, Get To Me. You are not a king, you are just a pawn, scattering the seeds from which the masses will be born. The emphasis you place on the space you put your tail shows just the kind of weakness that would cause a race to fail. Where did you get it in your head that the value you possess was determined by efficiency of taking off my dress? Huh? Who taught you what it means to be a man? No, blame the absence of a father, blame the absence of a plan, blame the system that would have you drugged and sex and all for sport blame the rich when you steal then when they catch you blame the court blame the girls that told you yes blame the girl that told you no blame the girl that was your mother blame it on the way you grow so many things you have the opportunity to use as your excuse when you lose but what if all you had to do to win was to learn from the example the king but he don't love highly always on the low heart over full but he don't want it to show he don't love highly ever feeling down draining the energy whenever he's around he don't love highly so the chance is kind of slim not taking the time to give eyes unto him who is the light and the law the truth and the way so i can't let him get Other contemporary Rastafarian reggae and reggaeton artists are Takana Zion, Itana, Roots Underground, Baby Rasta and Gringo, uh, and Buju Banton. I want to close with an excerpt uh, from uh, The World is Changing uh, from uh, the 2020 song The World is Changing by Buju Banton. Performing the song, The World is Changing, from his first album in a decade, Upside Down 2020, here is Buju Banton. I Thank you very much for your attention and I would welcome questions or comments, suggestions and um, you can email me those to my email address. Thank you very much.